What's the hottest pepper you've ever eaten? Was it a jalapeno? The fiery ghost pepper? Or was it the face-melting Carolina Reaper? Eating one of these atomic chilies is not for the faint of heart. But could you train yourself to handle the heat? Well, bust out the milk because today we're going to put your taste buds to the test. This is your body on, training to eat spicy foods. Lucky for you, genetics don't play a role in spice tolerance. The love of spicy food can be acquired over time. In 2014, two journalists from a British newspaper decided to go to a local restaurant and try the Triple X Hot Chili Burger. They'd heard about it on TripAdvisor. With just a single bite, one of them began experiencing severe stomach pains and loss of feeling in his hands. He began to hyperventilate. The other was guzzling milk to extinguish the heat and pain. Both ended up in the hospital. According to the BBC, one was in so much pain that he felt like he was dying. But is there a way to eat spicy foods without suffering these kind of consequences? Chilies are hot because of a chemical compound known as capsaicin found in the seeds of chili peppers. When you eat a pepper, the chemical binds to the receptors that respond to the pain from the heat in your mouth and throat. The receptors can detect temperatures over 43.3 degrees Celsius. This means it might all be in your head, even though it doesn't feel like it. There are theories that capsaicin evolved as a way to protect the pepper plants from fungus and mammals. Interestingly, birds do not have the receptors necessary to feel the burn, but humans sure do. The Scoville scale is the rating system used to quantify the spiciness of peppers. American pharmacist Wilbur Scoville developed it in 1912. Each pepper has a Scoville heat unit, or SHU. A bell pepper, for example, has a score of 0 SHU, while a Carolina Reaper has a score of 2.2 million SHU. You can only imagine how hot that must be. And since it's day one of training, let's take it slow. Start small by adding Tabasco sauce to your meals, which is about 30 to 50,000 SHU. You'll build your tolerance and develop a resistance to some of the effects of spicy foods. Be sure to eat slowly. When eating spicy foods, you're adding capsaicin to your mouth with every bite. When you do this quickly, there's less time for the effects to wear off, so the sensation of heat and burning will increase. Basically, wait for your mouth to cool down between bites. By now, you've been incorporating hot sauce into every meal. Capsaicin exposes your taste receptors to sodium and calcium ions, which then transmit the spiciness to the brain. When you repeatedly expose your mouth to capsaicin, the ions begin to close the receptor door, stopping the pain signals from being transmitted. Also, over time, the nerve endings start to deteriorate. Let's turn up the heat by adding some habanero salsa to your eating routine. These little red or orange peppers can be as hot as 855,000 SHU. Think of training to eat spicy foods like training your muscles. You'll slowly increase the weight or resistance as you get stronger. As you become more tolerant of spice, you can increase the level you consume. An easy way to do this is to keep the spice on the side via hot sauce, salsa, or red pepper flakes. At this point, eating habaneros is a walk in the park. You're ready to try the infamous ghost pepper, which found fame in several YouTube challenges. 
Grown in Northeast India, it ranks at up to 970,000 Scoville heat units. At this level of spiciness, it's important to have coolants at the ready. Water won't help. Capsaicin is not water soluble, so it won't wash away the compound. Like oil and water, they don't mix. Milk, on the other hand, has organic compounds that bond with and deactivate the capsaicin. And this may sound obvious, but don't forget to breathe. When you exhale through the mouth, it can provide a psychological distraction to help cope with the pain. Exhaling also helps to send cool air to the capsaicin receptors. Okay, now you've become a spice connoisseur. It's time to try the Guinness World Record holder for spiciest pepper, the Carolina Reaper. At 2.2 million Scoville heat units, this thing is no joke. But you trained your mouth all month, so you got this. While you may still experience some of the extreme effects of eating a spicy pepper, like teary eyes, a runny nose, and hiccups, you're still much better off than if you had eaten this pepper on day one. Spicy peppers are loved all over the world thanks to their versatility and unique flavors. Mexico, India, Thailand are all known for their extremely hot and delicious foods. As a bonus, they also have some surprising health benefits. In 2006, research showed that capsaicin could help prevent prostate cancer. It stops the spread of prostate cancer cells and helps kill off the proteins that lead to cancerous cell growth. As long as you have a healthy digestive system, increasing your tolerance for spicy foods can be beneficial. In addition to gaining bragging rights, training yourself to enjoy the heat will open your body to more flavors and types of cuisines. Once you get past the burning, of course. Hey, if spice isn't your thing and you have more of a sweet tooth, think you could handle eating only candy for a month? Well, we'll see what that challenge brings on another episode of Your Body On.